is how I normally get to the border. Um, this is like one of the main streets called Gato Bronco. And so it's I'm about maybe without traffic, I say about 10 to 15 minutes from the actual century line. So um, I'll show you guys uh, when I get closer uh, what that looks like and then uh, give you just some details about uh, getting century or getting global entry if you're an American. Century, if you're if you're a foreign, uh, Mexican nationalist, you would get century. But if you're an American citizen, then basically you just apply for global entry, which also includes uh, century. So uh, I give you a little, show you guys, give you more guys details about that as well, and then uh, yeah, just show you where you go in on the old Thai side. To cross the border, uh, there's there's three ports. There's San Isidro, which is basically uh, let me flip this around. So there's like three ports. Uh, there's San Isidro, which is further west from here, and then in the middle there's Otai, and then the next one is uh, Tecate, and I cross through Otai uh, because it's more closer to where I live. And it's usually uh, not so uh, not so congested as far as uh, waiting to uh, go across through Century or coming through um, to get to TJ like it is through San Isidro. But um, that usually depends nowadays too, especially on Fridays trying to go through Otai. It, terrible especially on Friday nights and um, I try to like time it correctly to like I don't have to wait an hour or two to get across usually I'll maybe stay at my mom's house or hang out with some friends and then come across later at night probably around 9 to pick up my wife because she gets off at 10 uh, but even at 9 o'clock sometimes I'm usually waiting about 45 minutes to get across uh, so it, it all depends and then there are some days where I get across in five minutes on a Friday, you know, so uh, It just depends on if there's whatever event there might be going on, you know, if it's the summertime, if it's holiday season It's usually pretty bad so, uh, But I'll give you guys more details of what the line looks like when you go through Century so uh, stay tuned. And as I said before in one of my first video, I definitely wouldn't consider moving here if I didn't have um, global entry or if you didn't have century. Yeah, that's the first thing you want to get if you want to consider living over here. So um, I'll give you more details on that as well. Um, As far as uh, the procedure to getting um, global entry, it was fairly easy to process. You just go on the website. Um, I think it was, can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll put it in the link below. Uh, but yeah, you just fill out the application and then um, you submit the fee, which was $100 at the time. And then you wait till they conditionally approve it and and then once that happens they then you can schedule an appointment to meet with an agent to uh, uh to do the interview and for me doing the whole COVID, um yeah i did mine's about a year over a year a year ago um it was still like towards the end of COVID, but like appointments were just so booked up in san diego that it was a year out and I was like, I can't wait that long. So I, I ended up finding an appointment in Tucson and I lucked out because I had a friend who actually turned out to be my room, my first roommate in TJ. Um, he lived out there and um, I got a chance to not only visit him, but also visit Tucson. And, you know, that was a little dry from San Diego, but it was definitely well worth it you know, because once I did the interview, which was only approximately about five minutes, you know, 
uh, literally five minutes. And it was just a few questions about, you know, where I traveled, uh, places that I've been to, um, who's my parents, you know, what I do for a living. And that was pretty much it. And then, yeah, the next thing I know, with 34 weeks, um, I got the card. Oh, and then another thing, um, you when you have, when you're on the, when you're filling out the application, make sure you put your vehicle down because you can only put one per card uh, that you're going to be using to cross. And if you get a new vehicle or yeah, if you get a new vehicle or change vehicles, you're going to have to register. And that's a $45 fee, I believe. So, uh, but yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'll definitely put the link below. An hour or so to get across, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's uh, moving pretty quickly. So, uh, this is how you normally go through to get uh, to... Get to um, United States to San, to San Diego is through this way from Old High. So uh, I'll get, show you some more footage when I'm closer. Well, here's the start of the, the long. I just crossed. Uh, it was pretty quick. I think I waited about a total of uh, 15 minutes. Not even, I mean, about 15 minutes. But this is what it looks like when you're going across. Uh, well, I'm in San Diego now, but this is what looks when you're coming in to San Diego.